Hello everybody, Alex here today, showing you a easy trick to speed up your renders. I am very surprised a lot of artists are not talking about this, and have not incorporated it into their workflow, but this will speed up your renders all the time. Rendering in the command line, something that many people are not familiar with, and they usually just render inside a blender in the viewport, and that slows down the process because you're having to actually display all the frames on the scene. Now, of course, if you are going to preview it, that's fine. But if you're doing a long animation, then you definitely want to save as much time as you can. So let's click render at the moment. I have two 1080 Ti's running and I have them split up so that way they are 320 by 540 and essentially that is some of the dimensions of the of a 1920 1080 just broken down right so it's going to do six on the bottom two on or bas basically it's a six by two or two by six you know so it's going to be rendering 12 tiles total on a full 1920 1080 resolution. So you can see they're both both the same GPU. They're going to be doing all of that. It might be a bit slower because I'm doing the screen capture, but oh well. <clears throat> so we'll let that run here. All right, so the render is done. Of course, there's no denoising on this one, and I only rendered it at 20, or no, actually 12 samples squared. That's one. That's another thing I'm not, I don't understand why a lot of artists don't check the square samples, because I don't know, I just find it easier to have 12 or 10, and then 30 is usually my default, because that'll give you 900. Around. Anyway, okay, so it looks like it was two minutes, 38 seconds, and... 1.1 1 .1 gigs of RAM. Okay. So, one thirty-eight or two thirty-eight is what we have to beat. So let's switch. Let's close Blender here. Let me bring up my other folder. Okay. So here's the Blender folder, right? So I got a program in here called Render.sh. Of course, I'm on Linux. So, at the moment, it is doing this right here. It's going to run Blender in the background and then it's going out of that directory into our projects directory into the contemporary home render and then doing that dash a means it's going to render everything just like the blender file has it so let's do a test on which one is faster so what we're going to do in this directory it's kind of the same on Windows as well. You'll just open a command line or a CMD and then find your Blender directory and sort of do the same process. Same on a Mac. Okay. So now what we're going to do, since we have that little program set up, what we're going to do is type in our render program, render.sh. Let's close our current instance of Blender and let's minimize my OBS. Actually, I'm going to put this on another window. Get over here. Okay. Now we can hit hit the enter button. Dang it. Of course I mess up my typing. Alright, let's put that full screen. So now it's gonna go do its thing. We have to beat 238. 238 is what we're beating. Mm-hmm. Now it's gonna take a little bit longer because it has to load all the assets because before it was already loaded when you started Blender, everything like that. So right now, so you're gonna lose a little bit of time there. That's the unfortunate part. However, it should also use a little less video memory. And it's about the same, I guess. Okay, and then it's just gonna kind of hang here because it's doing all those 
the uh, path tracing. So yeah, it's going to do 12. And I found that resolution to be... Because sometimes I do the 512 by 512, or 256, 256. But I just find dividing it equally seems to help. Now, of course, if you're rendering a smaller image, then you'll want to break it down further so that way you can utilize both the GPUs or as many as you have. Mm -hmm. So each GPU should be doing six tiles. Depending on what, you know, objects are on that tile. Or materials, I should say. Okay, so current time is 1.31. I'm guessing it will shave off 15 seconds, should at least. And in the grand scheme of things, that's huge in terms of animation. You could save days, depending on how many frames you are rendering. Okay, let's find out. 2.38 is what we're beating. Okay, 212. Oh! Yes. So, I don't know what it what it means when it says down here saving 104. It's like where's that number from? I don't know. So, in effect, we are actually saving 26 seconds more than I thought. That's almost half a minute, and that is great. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you all found that information very useful. I'll be providing the script in the description or some text on how to do that. You can re uh, research how to make a .bat file for the Windows, .sh for Linux, and I think it's the same for Mac. The Blender commands will be the same, it's just accessing it on your operating system. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next video.